Hi guys. So now we will be learning after we have learnt about rest and motion in detail. So now we will be learning the basic concepts of physical quantities. Okay. So there are basically two types of physical quantities which we have already gone through in measurement. Number one is scalar quantity. Scalar quantity. Number two is vector quantity. Number one is scalar quantity. Number two is vector quantity. Clear? Absolutely. So, what are scalar quantities? Scalar quantities are those quantities which has no direction. No direction. Okay? These are scalar quantity. Example. Length, mass, energy, etc. Distance, okay? You can write distance, speed. We will understand why these are scalar quantities. What are vector quantities? See, this has no direction but has only magnitude. Only, please write down magnitude magnitude okay. now vector quantity I'll go right over here so vector quantities are much more important than scalar quantity guys so vector quantities have magnitude number two direction take okay? magnitude raiga direction raiga and they will follow vector law law of you can write this as strangle law or parallelogram law of addition so we'll explain one by one what does it mean? First of all, let us go through some examples. Example is displacement. So, we will deal in detail about distance and displacement. Y1 is vector and Y1 is scalar. Velocity, okay? Force, okay? These are all vector quantities. Acceleration is a vector quantity. We are going to study all these things in this chapter in great detail, okay? डिटेल में जाके स्टडी करेंगे ऐसा नहीं कि ऊपर ऊपर से निकल जाएगा ऊपर ऊपर से नहीं निकलेगा देखो द वे ऑफ स्टडिंग क्लास नाइन्थ फिजिक्स इज ए लिटिल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द वे यू हैव डन इन क्लास सेवेंथ एंड एट्थ ठीक है हियर यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी वेल वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअली वंस यू डू दैट आफ्टर दैट यू विल नॉट फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम इन क्लास टेंथ इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ सो दैट इज वॉट यू वॉन्ट राइट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम इन लेटर क्लासेस करेक्ट so magnitude direction it is following vector law of addition clear so now displacement velocity these are the examples so what are vectors this has some direction suppose i take a vector set velocity see when you represent a vector you write the symbol and after that you have to give this arrow so this arrow represents that it also has direction so because vector quantities has direction you have to represent it with an arrow clear when you represent a scalar quantity say speed you don't need to give arrow just write s that will be enough don't give arrow for vectors arrow is must okay so this part will denote the direction and magnitude now there is another thing that i have said that is the triangle law of addition i'll just show you an example suppose a body is at this point okay so first it moves like this then it moves like this so body's point was first a and it became c body's point was first a then it became c so definitely see when you talk about distance covered by this body then let's say this is 
थ्री मीटर एंड लेट से दिस इज एज फाइव मीटर ठीक है सो वॉट विल बी द डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस विल बी आई राइट इट एज डी सो डिस्टेंस विल बी थ्री प्लस फाइव एट मीटर राइट दिस इज डिस्टेंस बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वेक्टर क्वान्टिटी दैट इज डिसप्लेसमेंट देन इट इज नॉट सिंपल एडिशन डिसप्लेसमेंट इज बेसिकली द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फाइनल पॉइंट एंड इनिशियल पॉइंट मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फाइनल पॉइंट एंड इनिशियल पॉइंट सो If I want to calculate displacement, displacement is denoted like this. This is basically AC. ठीक है? This one you have to calculate. And vector law of addition is nothing but algebraically it is very difficult to prove. Okay, algebraically I can't prove it at this moment. In class 11 you can algebraically calculate the AC value if you know the angle between this two. ठीक है? But at this moment you have to know that AC is the resultant vector that is ac is the displacement the minimum distance between final and the initial position is called displacement we'll discuss this don't worry so here it is as per vector's law it can be written as like this okay but definitely it is not ac it will definitely not become ab plus bc it is not that you can draw a triangle and find out ac is something else right it is not that definitely it is not that but vector law of addition will give you this thing theek okay? hai so this is vector law of addition which is followed by only vector quantities the scalar quantities does not follow that now there are certain quantities certain quantities which are called tensor quantities tensor quantities theek okay? hai what are tensor quantities tensor quantity means it has magnitude it has direction doesn't follow vector law of addition theek okay? hai it doesn't follow this vector law other than that it follows this two example of this is current pressure at 9th and 10th level tensor quantity is out of your syllabus you will remember current and pressure is scalar quantity clear hmm? because in exams you have to write it as scalar quantity galat ho sahi ho likhna padega theek hai sab books mein hoy diya hua hai clear guys so this is all about vector quantities and scalar quantities and now we will have to know what is there are different types of vectors that also is important to know please write down i'll give you the notes for that yeah so you can definitely understand that we are going a little above the things that is exactly in your syllabus because to understand in fully you need to know certain information nothing else so first is there are certain types of vectors you please write down okay first of all when i write this vector like this i give this arrow this is called origin that means where from it is starting okay and this is called head of the vector or terminus okay what is an unit vector vector with magnitude is equal to 1 unit is called unit vector theek okay? hai next you write coplanar vector please write down coplanar vector two vectors in the same plane is called coplanar vector that means this is a plane okay so these two vectors are in the same plane so these are coplanar vectors you can give this as an example next is equal vectors equal vectors equal vectors means suppose this is one vector this is another vector this is a this is b so it has magnitude of 5 meter east theek okay? hai let's say east this side is east is for us this is 5 meter again east so if its direction and magnitude both are same then it is called 
equal vectors. If the direction and magnitude both are same, it is called equal vectors. Next is opposite vectors. Okay. This is A, this is B. Okay. So, if the direction of B vector is opposite of the A vector, then A and B vectors are called opposite vectors. Okay. Vectors can be equal. These equal vectors are never opposite vectors. Remember, because equal vectors are having same direction. So, sometimes it becomes equal and opposite nahi bhai equal and opposite alag hai equal vectors matlab vector matlab direction is very important so equal vectors matlab direction magnitude both are same and when you are talking about opposite vectors the direction is opposite it may be equal in magnitude it may not be equal in magnitude 